Today's video is gonna be slightly different. I came across this clip online and it touched me. The clip I came across was about this young lady who celebrated her birthday and as a gift to herself, she decided to go get her body done. Happy birthday to you. This was Kay Del Brown's Happy final birthday. She died four Happy days after this celebration. A hard-working single mum of two who'd hoped cosmetic surgery would boost her self-confidence. And so, with her sister Leanne, she travelled to Turkey for a so-called mummy MOT. She went to Turkey and she never came back. The crazy thing is, when her body came back, her organs was missing. When you go in and you're paying, they're your best friends and they, they'll help you with anything. But once something goes wrong, it's... Left to yourself. Goodbye. And for Kadel, something did go catastrophically wrong just hours after she took this picture. I'd asked a few times where she, what, how long she was going to be, and they just kept saying she was coming. And then I got a knock on door, and three people walked in and just said, "Can you come with us, please?" They just started trying to say, "You know, there's complications of surgery," and I just said, "As my sister died," and they just said, "I'm sorry, but yeah." I know a lot of times I make fun of women getting BBLs and getting their body done, but on a serious note. Ladies, you are enough. You are enough. I'm not going to lie. I'm out of shape. I plan on getting in shape. I plan on going to the gym. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say something. We all know I'm vertically challenged, right? There is leg BBLs going around. And I'm not going to lie. I have been doing my research on the leg BBLs. I was planning to get a leg BBL. Now, the way the leg BBLs work, they break... They break your, your ankles, they break whatever it is over here by your thigh, they break those, and they put metal rods in there, and every day, they, they widen the rods. So now, as your bones grow in, the distance that your bones have to grow, it gets wider and wider, and of course, that gets you taller. I seen some guy on here. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have seen him too. He did the leg BBL, bro. My man's went from being 5'6 to like 6'1. 6'1. The possibilities. Y'all done heard me say a whole bunch of shit. If I was over six feet, I would have been in the league. I wholeheartedly believe that. Now, I've been following homie, and he got his legs done last year, and you know, he still ain't walking right. That right there tells me that I can't do it. The amount of working out I've seen this man do to get his leg strength back up, I don't have that much dedication. I want to be able to run away from certain situations. So, yeah. But besides that, whether you get the leg BBL, or you get the booty BBL, you're getting a tummy tuck, you're getting your... Your breast is done, you are putting your life at risk. You are trusting a complete stranger with your life. Most times you don't speak the language. Think about it. You're trusting a complete stranger that speak a different language from you in a country that you don't know the ins and out of with your life. The most interesting thing about that clip is that it's hard for the family to get an investigation done because it's in Turkey. And they were from the UK. I know a lot of people like to go to DR. I know some people go to Mexico. I believe a homie that got the leg BBL, he went to Turkey. Listen, man, it's not that serious. Whatever the Lord blessed you with, that's what the Lord blessed you with. The Lord made me 5'6", and it's okay. It's okay. Even I, I was, I'm telling y'all, boy, I was thinking of putting some rims on this mother... But it's okay. So, ladies, I want you to understand something. Even if that booty look like a breakfast pancake, somebody's going to enjoy that breakfast. It's somebody out there for you. Don't risk your life trying to impress people that don't like you for who you are. Because whoever you are when you come off that table, it might look good in the mirror. But that's not truly who you are. If you went to the gym and you worked out and you changed your body, that is you. That dedication, that discipline, when you look at yourself in the mirror, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see dedication and discipline. When you go get that BBL, you're not going to see that. You're going to see somebody else handiwork. And from what I heard, to be honest with you, that BBL be smelling funky. So there's a chance 
Not only you going to risk your life, you risk your organs getting taken if you die, but there's a chance that you get that BBL and it cut you come back smelling funky. Come on now. You want to be self-conscious? You and your man doing the grown folks business and he in the back of you and you thinking, you ain't even enjoying it because you thinking like, ooh, I hope it don't start smelling. That, why, why I go through that, baby? Go to the gym. Eat right, go to the gym, baby. In conclusion, love yourself. You are enough. Okay? When you wake up in the morning, I want you to look yourself in the mirror and I want you to say, I love you. You're enough.